For all of the plans he made, the father still depended upon his creation to follow through. The shepherds were told to find Mary, Joseph, and the baby in the manger. Would they go? Would they spread the word as we had planned? In the middle of the night, when that poor woman should have been sleeping after giving birth to her beautiful new boy, a band of the rowdiest shepherds I have ever seen burst into town from the fields, yelling and making noise. They woke up everybody in the inn. <laughs> I knew they would. We chose them specifically. They were so excited, they ran all the way from the fields. They flooded into the streets, overflowing with excitement, with joy. At first, we thought they were all drunk, especially when they told Mary that angels had told them where to find the birthplace of the Messiah. The Messiah! But they were serious. What they told Mary confirmed what I had already spoken to her, and they became the first persons to declare the birth of Christ. They ran into the streets, praising mighty God, the new Prince of Peace, Emmanuel, our God is with us. seemed unbelievable, literally. But if she is telling the truth, and Jesus' mother and father were really visited by an angel, wouldn't that make him who their scriptures say he is? The son of the creator of the universe? The one and only true God? In this boy? No! Remember their scriptures. He is predicted to be born of a virgin, as Lydia said he was. He is of the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and David, as predicted, born in Bethlehem, 
also as predicted. Certainly he fulfilled a lot of predictions. He may well indeed be their king, but Messiah? How does this king become Messiah? It's in the other predictions that he becomes Messiah, ones you know full well. This king is to die at the hands of his own people. It is not in his birth, but because of his death that he is to be known. All my life I've questioned wisdom, asking what is true. Searching scriptures written by your hand. This star has brought me to this moment, and now I must choose to believe in something I don't understand. How could this be a king born in a manger? How could he make a kingdom last forever? The wonder of his birth, why would he come to earth? The prophets say he is to die, why would he leave his throne on high? My heart cries out, is this redemption story? A humble manger to the king of glory. The wonder of his birth Why would he come to earth? Why would he come to die? This Jesus Other kings have died at the hands of their people? Remember what their prophet Isaiah said Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows But he was pierced for our transgressions He was crushed for our iniquities the punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds we are healed. He will die to save his people. The star that brought us here, the fulfilled prophecy. This is more than a king. This is their Messiah. The Son of God. Then this child, this toddler, is my Lord, my one true king. One who will in time die for me. This king, as no other, is worthy of worship. My Lord, my one true king, born in a manger. I'll worship you, Messiah, forever. The wonder of your birth, the hope for all the earth. I stand in awe of love so great. I lift my voice to celebrate. My heart cries out, this is redemption story. A humble manger to the King of glory. The wonder of his birth, the hope for all the earth. He came to give me life, this Jesus. The Father's gift. Of love is Jesus, the Father's gift of love. And another believes in the Messiah. How do you tell your friends and associates that the toddler you have come to honor as a new king is actually God, the creator of all things? These are new ideas even to my fellow wise men. And by the way, when you bring gifts to him, what do you bring to someone who already has everything? They brought with them the most precious things that the world had to offer. Gold, spices, and perfumes, frankincense, and myrrh. But in truth... I brought only one acceptable gift. I brought the one thing that he didn't have because he had already given it to me. The others brought things to give. But he... I gave him everything. I gave him my life.
went to bed the next day wondering if I had really experienced what I remembered. It was too amazing, too remarkable to be true. This little boy was the heir to the throne of the world right in front of my eyes. It was so remarkable that I had trouble grasping the idea. He even told his fellow wise men, and the scholars laughed at him. A king, yes, they allowed, but a god? No. The god? <laughs> Laughable. And that's where I came in. As I tried to explain all I had learned about this Jesus, they laughed harder and harder. I was humiliated. I finally gave up for the day and went to bed like the others. I made my appearance that night in a dream to them all. We angels can do that, you know. An angel appeared to me that night in a dream. His clothes were like lightning. I was terrified. The angel told me... Do not go back to Herod. They should have known what would happen. Herod was not interested in anything but protecting his precious power. If they told him where the boy was, the child would have been dead within days. As soon as he had finished speaking, I was gone. I woke up. My colleagues were spilling out of their tents, haunted by this dream. Soon enough, we figured out that we had all had the same dream. They weren't laughing anymore. I had the pleasure of asking them if they still believed this child was simply an earthly king. Well, they didn't go back to Jerusalem. And for the first time, I learned that when God touches your life, sometimes he asks you to change, to go another way. Wherever he leads now, I will follow. God's ways are not our way. His plans are not our plans. If we will just be faithful, someday we'll understand. God's ways are not our way. If we are faithful, then time will tell. If this is God's way. gave me my life, I told her. I thanked him for the gift, but he told me that I had been the one that received the gift. Through her, I learned about the true gift, the Father's gift. I had always searched for truth, but then the Father showed me real truth and life. He gave me with it the gifts of love and hope. My life is forever changed because of Jesus, the Father's gift of love. Forever, the wonder of His birth, 
a hope for all the earth I stand in awe of love so great I lift my voice to celebrate The Father's gift of love, redemption story The Father's song of joy, the King of glory The wonder of His birth, the hope for all the earth The Father's gift of love Jesus Through the mountains and the valleys He will lead the way Every step I take is guided by His hand The darkest night before me He'll make a brand new day I believe and with His promise I can Stand in awe of love so great I lift my voice to celebrate The Father's gift of love, redemption story The Father's song of joy, the King of glory The wonder of His birth, the hope for all the earth The Father's 